This is Raylo again with another fishing tutorial. This one is just getting some standing pretty easily by fishing. So what you're going to be after are these guys here. Mortis lungfish. So at night, these guys spawn right here. So I'm mark her down to the lower right. You can see Cetus, the gate. So as soon as you come out of Cetus, you're going to head to the left. And you'll see the pond right here next to the cave icon. At night, you get a 100% uh, chance for these mortis lungfish. And you get a heck of a lot of standing for each one you pull in. So, you can easily met. If you come out here at the beginning of the game night, you can probably max out your daily standing just by fishing these guys up in one night. As you can see here, you don't really need uh, the baits or the uh, the dye that makes them all glowy and everything makes them so you can easily spot them. I'm not too big on that. Uh, out of the ocean and during the day, honestly, yeah. Oops. But uh, here at night, I think it's fine. I actually use a good set of headphones so I can hear where they're at. Helps me place them pretty quickly and easily. So you've got small, medium, and large that you can pick up. They can be a bit of a pain to get when they're the little ones like that. Usually if they're moving towards you, that's the time to get them. So you want to see if you can spear them straight in their big old foreheads. So the way these guys seem to spawn from what I've seen when I'm not repeatedly falling in the pond. If you hold your lance up, or your spear, about every 30 or so, 45 seconds, you'll hear the bubbles come. And when that happens, anywhere from 3 to 6 of them seem to pop at once. Oh, so that one's going to pop right around here somewhere. There we go. See, if you listen to the sound cues, you don't really need the dies. Whoever did the sound uh, testing and placing for this uh, is a genius, as far as audio. They did it perfectly. Like, it's really like you're actually here, and you can, as long as you use your ears, you can hunt these guys no problem. And you really, like I said, you don't need dyes, and you can usually know where they're going to be at even before they appear. So we're going to pick off these four or five of them. Listen for the audio cue. Oh, there's another one over here. There we go. You can get them in the tail, the back, but I prefer to get them while they're facing me if I can. The tails seem to have kind of janky hitboxes. Sometimes you'll nail them and sometimes your spear will go completely through them, like even if you're close. But if you aim for the forehead, uh, usually the accuracy on that's really good. So now we're having to wait another 30-45 seconds for the next spawn. If you have some, oop, that's the wrong, this twilight bait, you can use this to bring more of them out at night. Just use the alt fire after you equip it. That other one I threw was a day bait, so. Alright, we've got a couple showing up here. Let's go ahead and grab these. Don't be too worried if you're not getting too many large and mediums. Even the small ones are worth a decent amount of standing. It's all about just coming out here and doing as much as you can in a night. You can get that standing usually within a night, and then you don't have to worry about it. As you can see, going by sound alone, I was able to pick him out before he even appeared. So, 
if you want to take the resources and use them on the dyes and everything, or maybe uh, imagine if you're if you're colorblind or a little bit uh, hard of seeing, then you might actually have trouble spotting these guys because they are blue against the water. I've got the graphic settings currently on highest, so if you lower them, you can get rid of these reflections and uh, a few of the other effects. If you want to keep it simple. But I found that just simply by going by sound and taking a look around, I will occasionally jump over to that rock, over to that rock, sometimes over there. But really, if you stay in the middle here on these two rocks, you really just want to be pretty lazy with it like me. <laughs> I don't like to move around too much. I'm just trying to get standing. You can get to all of them fine. So we're going to get one more set here, and then I'm going to go back to town and turn them all in so you can get a, an idea of the standing. So the sound is a little bit far away, so these might actually be over here. Oh, I see him. He's right there. So you can always, if you're pretty confident you know about the general area they're in, you can toss your spear out there and hope you get lucky. But even if you don't, it'll scare them. Make them change positions, hopefully to a spot that's easier for you to locate them. As I said in my other video, you can scoot around to find things faster, find the fish faster, but in this area you really don't have to. They really do come to you. There we go, there's another one. It's a medium it looks like. I've already been out of here for quite a while tonight, but I've only uh, been out of here for one night, so. All the fish you're about to see me trade in are from one night of fishing. It's basically a full night. Morning's about to hit. I'd say I've been out here for maybe 35, 40 minutes. Yeah, let's use our spear to mine. That's efficient. Come on, Rayla. <laughs> Alright, in we go. Well Alright, so here you can see we got, there they are, we got 90 small fish, 26 large, 36 medium, that might, that, that's probably going to put me over my daily standing. So if you go over your daily standing, I mean, you can save them for your next turn in, so it's kind of a, I like it because it's kind of like an investment. You can honestly go and fish for like a few hours and get rid of, you know, your, your need to farm for the rest of the week. Alright. So, small fish. We'll just turn in one. Small fish are worth 100. Don't see many of these anymore. Oh. The medium fish are worth 125. See many of these anymore. Oops. And the large fish are worth 200. Don't that see pond, these anymore. all of them, everything that you catch is going to be uh, these guys. So let's see. I've got 14,000. See many of these anymore. <gasps> so just the twenty-five. We got fifty-two hundred. Let's throw in our mediums. Don't see many of these anymore. Actually, let's get rid of all these. <gasps> Look at that. <gasps> Don't see many of these. So we got fourteen thousand. Already hit my daily. I'm not sure exactly how many, but. I need to take out of there, but I'll figure it out. You guys aren't interested in my bad math skills, so... Just wanted to let you know that you guys... 
if you're looking for easy standing, um, just head on out to that lake. It's immediately outside of the gate, so it's really easy to find, really easy to get to. As soon as the Cetus nighttime or the Plains of Eidolon nighttime comes around, go out there with your spear and get to catching. Like I said, you could, like these 36 uh, mediums, that can be for tomorrow's standing. So you can use these maybe got a day, one day of the week, or if you work like I do, you can go out there on your day off, spend a spend a night, one or two planes nights out there, farm up a bunch of fish, that way you can keep getting your standing day to day, you don't have to worry about falling behind too much when you don't have time to get on, so, alright guys, hope this helped you out, and this is Rayello, and I will see you next time.